Holy Grail. I love it. Sorry, I got really excited about that. Oh, this is just like my Holy Grail. But I have a lot of stuff. Guys, I have a problem. I have a problem. Hi, lovelies. So today I have been tagged by Lori Fike. She is so awesome and she has such an awesome channel. Check her out. I will have her link down below. She tagged me to do the 40 beauty questions tag and I have just the questions here. So I'm really excited to do this because <sighs> you'll see. It's just a passion of mine. So let's jump in because it is a lot of questions. Skincare is the first section and it says, how many times do you wash your face daily? Once if I'm wearing makeup or if I kind of feel junky. The only thing I do is I use the Shishido Pureness uh, Refreshing Cleansing Sheets. They're oil free and alcohol free and I absolutely love them. So what skin type do you have? I have kind of dry combination skin. What is your current facial wash? Okay, so my current facial wash is Clinique Rinse Off Foaming Cleanser. Do you exfoliate? I actually um, use the Clinique 7 Day Scrub Cream Rinse Off Formula. This is gentle enough to use every single day. It's the absolute best exfoliator of all time for me because I have really sensitive skin. So what brand do you use? Clinique and Shishido and Simple. What moisturizer do you use? Oh, oh my gosh, it is just wonderful. It is Origins A Perfect World Age Defense Skin Guardian with White Tea. Do you have freckles? I have moles. Is that the same thing? I don't think so. No, I don't have freckles. Do you use eye cream? Yes, I do. I've been using the Clinique Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief. Uh, sometimes I just use good old Vaseline. If I've scrubbed my eyes with makeup and all that kind of stuff, I'll put just like a little bit of the Vaseline right here and then like underneath and then on my lid a little bit. Do you or did you have acne prone skin? I do have acne prone skin now. My acne is not like big pimples it's more like red spots that come and they stay for like weeks and weeks and weeks and then I have like areas that like on my cheeks that get red and kind of like bumpy but I use clear days ahead by philosophy skin has never been more beautiful than when I use this every single day did you ever use proactive yes I did when I freaked out and was like oh my gosh what do I do I have acne now but I did not like it Okay, so we're on to the makeup one. This is a judgment-free zone, okay? I have a problem. What foundation do you use? I have tried everything. I have like a whole container back here, MAC, Clinique, drugstore, just like all bunches of stuff. I've tried everything, but my absolute favorite is a freaking drugstore foundation called L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup and I'm neutral uh, N12 which is just the palest you can be. How about concealer? I love my concealers. My under eye is what I use the most of my concealing for and um, I use the L'Oreal True Match Fusion Crayon Corrector thing. It's like kind of with with this I, I think. I'm not sure. But it's very like thick and I have very dark circles under my eyes so I use this after I do my makeup and it gives me a nice clean line and cleans up everything that I've kind of like junked up when I did my eyes. And I use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. It's wonderful and it's light reflective and I actually use it as a highlight so I use it in a triangle under my eyes, down my nose, on here, on my cupid's bow and down around here and it's so freaking cheap so freaking cheap. I just, it just blows my mind. Okay. Do you know your undertone color? Yes, I'm pink. I'm warm. I have a lot of red. So warm. What do you think of fake eyelashes? I love fake eyelashes, but I, like, I feel so insecure when I wear them and I feel like people are judging me. Like, not that many people around me or my friends wear them. I just wish that like everybody did because I absolutely love them. I think they're so fun and um, my eyelashes are super long so 
I don't really need it for that, but like my lashes stick like straight out. So it's kind of fun to have um, like an upward motion. Upward, upward. But I don't really wear them ever. And I don't think I've worn them out since like Halloween and college probably. And it sucks. I want to. Okay, do you know that you are supposed to change your mascara every three months? Yes, I do, and I absolutely do not do that. So, I actually like, I actually don't really like my mascaras right when I get them. I kind of like them when they dry out a little bit, and then I'm like, yeah, this is awesome. What brand of mascara do you use? Okay. Um, just gonna, uh, just grab, you know, just a slight selection here. Just a few of these. <laughs> no joke, I have a serious problem with mascara. I love them. I get stuck with them all the time. This MAC one is pretty cool, but it's more gimmicky. And um, So I'm just going to show you the ones that I use the most. And this is uh, uh, Maybelline Define a Lash Mascara. I really like this stuff. It doesn't clump. It doesn't make them spidery. It just really defines them and just spreads out your lashes and gives you some movement in them. And it really has a nice wand. Um, little trick is when I run out of these, I actually take the wand out of it and I clean it all off. And then I use this to brush my eyelashes um, and get any clumps and junk, especially under here. Kind of roll it through um, and then just clean it off and use it. So just a little tr trick there. Um, the other thing I really love is my Clinique. It's a bottom lash um, mascara. And it has a wee little tiny wand and this is really cool to get precision and to get like every lash from here to here and it makes it really full and beautiful so no judgment remember remember no judgment zone Sephora or Mac mmm -hmm. this is a hard one but I have to go with Sephora because Sephora has all brands it has like many different things Although I love the Mac store. I get in trouble every time I go there because I just want to buy everything. Uh, do you have a Mac Pro card? No, because you have to have two forms of identification that you are working as a makeup artist or whatever. And what makeup artist has two forms of identification? Like, I have my cosmetology license and I could get cards. But I do it freelance and I just do it um, like here and there and it's just kind of word of mouth. So I'm like screwed. I can't get it. So I don't know. I've tried to talk to them but it's just like so much work that I'm just like forget it. <laughs> what makeup tools do you use to in makeup application? Here's just some of the tools that I need. I have a problem yes I do I don't know there's so many but I wanted to show you guys like my favorite ones uh, this has been a new one the elf powder brush is pretty much the only brush I like from them because I didn't like any of the other ones I ordered but I do my foundation with this it's like a nice flat top and it was so cheap so I love that speaking of cheap I absolutely love this Soho brush it's like a drugstore brush I think um, but it has like actual like things that you can hold it with and it's just a really cool angular but it's like really cool for like cutting your cheek and also just applying blush and just really awesome um the next the rest are going to be mac um this is i think the 217 it's worn off but 217 is my absolute favorite for packing on color um sorry all my brushes are dirty i'm about to clean them after this video actually um the mac 224 for um buffing out absolute favorite um and then these two they're kind of comparable but one's a little bit bigger one's a little bit smaller i like them for different reasons so i added both of them it's a huge difference guys huge um no one's a little bit bigger and one's a little bit smaller and i use the 208 and the 266. i'm embarrassed <laughs> do you use makeup base primer for the eyes i do sometimes use the elf primer eyelid primer but I do I have to have something on my eyelids but I generally just put like my concealer or my foundation on there so that the eye shadow has something to grab onto but if I'm doing like a dramatic look like this today I use um, the MAC pearl frost cream color base and I put that from my 
eyebrow down to my lid and I just use that as a base and it sticks the color is just so much more of a payoff uh, da, da, da. for the face I'm not that into primers um, I'm more into like using a moisturizer before but I'd use a um, this one sometimes elf mineral face primer just because I'm like I feel like I have to but I don't notice a difference if I use it or not so maybe I just haven't found a good one I've tried the professionals I've tried a almost all of them and I just really don't notice anything. So what is your favorite eyeshadow color? That's like actually easy for me and I don't think that they even make this anymore because it's in this like cream container but it's Cosmic Lux Pearl Eyeshadow by MAC and it's just um, a gold, sparkly gold color but I just like cut my crease with this and I wear it like this is probably this is my go-to every single time I want to wear makeup and not that much and I'm in a rush I just grab this. So. That was easy. I don't have to show you all of the eyeshadows that I have. Okay. Do you use pencil or liquid liner? I actually have like all the forms. I have pencil. I have um, a precision liquid eyeliner. I got this from e.l.f. I really, really like it, especially over false lashes. And I have <laughs> cream eyeliner by e.l.f. I really like this. I got it to replace my MAC because my MAC had dried out and I really am impressed with this. I like it a lot. I usually use the MAC 208 which is a smaller one but I absolutely prefer um, using a shadow with my MAC 208 and this shadow is Black Tide Velvet. It has like a little bit of shimmer in it. I don't know. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't really like show up very shimmery but I like to use it and just a lot more precision because I have shaky hands and that's not a good look when you're using like liquid or anything else. If I use a liner, I still even go on and um, just make sure the lines are straight with this. Question. How often do you poke your eyes with eyeliner or pencil? I don't poke my eye with my eye pencil, but I have been tight lining my upper lid lately and I don't like it. I think I'm going to stop. It, it looks beautiful, but... It just feels so weird. What do you think of pigment eyeshadows? Uh, I love them. I absolutely love them. My favorite is um, MAC Tan. Uh, it's like a gold shimmery. Uh, this could honestly like last a village. I mean, it's you use so little, but you just have to make sure you have a like sticky base to put it on. And I really like it. It's really fun to play with, and it really sh like shows up really fun. Do you use mineral makeup? Uh, I've tried it and it really made my skin look like flaky and dry. I think it's really a lot better for maybe oily or combo skin but for me with having dry skin it just is not a good look for me. Not a good look. No thank you. What is your favorite lipstick? I actually am not a lipstick gal but my absolute favorite is, of course, MAC lipsticks um, and this Ruffian Red that I've been hanging on to. I've been so tempted to give it away in another giveaway because I had two. I gave one in a giveaway. But look how gorgeous that red is. I mean, it's just like the perfect red. How about lip gloss? Whoa. This is a whole different story and I'm not going to get into it because I think that you will judge. But this whole thing is filled with lip gloss. I have lip gloss everywhere. I'm addicted. I can never have too much. It's just, I mean, it's, it's a craziness that happens. I mean, I could just handfuls and handfuls and handfuls. But past that, my favorite right now is um, Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie in Rebel. And I actually got this with my points um, from Sephora. And it was like a lip like trio thing I got something else but I ended up loving it and I'm gonna read I'm gonna purchase a full size of it um, it has like a minty smell and the wand is like perfect it just is so nice to apply I just love the feel of it it's not sticky it's got a nice shine and then it's got this minty scent so it kind of like freshens you up when you wear it. What is your favorite blush to use? I actually only use one blush ever. I'm not a blush girl so this is the one thing that like hallelujah like okay one blush and it's from MAC and it's dainty and 
I really like suffered. Like I was like, do I, should I buy this? I really like it. She, Cause she just put it on my cheeks and I was like, I really like it. Like I've never used blush, but, um, so I use this. It's like a little bit pearlized and just a pink normal color, but I love it and I use it all the time. Do you buy your makeup on eBay? No, I don't understand that really. Um, and I don't like the idea of just getting it from a stranger. And eBay kind of scares me anyways because I've heard about so many scams, so no. Do you like drugstore makeup? Obviously, yes. I was very afraid of it up until my foundation thing and mascaras are like a dream. Lip gloss, do not get me in the lip gloss section of a pharmacy. I'll be there for hours. Do you go to CCOs? I'm just going to answer no because I have to read what it is. Cosmetic company outlets. Sounds fun, but have no idea what it is. So no. Do you ever consider taking makeup classes? Yes, I do. Sephora offers classes and we just got one and I would love to do some classes. I love makeup, so that would be really fun, but I've never taken any classes, I don't think. Are you clumsy in putting on makeup? Yes and no. I kind of have my routine. I do it I just am used to it, but I do have shaky hands, so that is a problem. Name a makeup crime that you hate. There are so many, but right now I would say too much contour. Like people are so into contouring their face, like it's insane and it's so weird. If you have a face shape like mine, like oval, thin, um, you do not need to be like cutting out your cheekbones. I see them. Can you see them? Mine are right here. That's my one. Dang, girl. That one got me going off. Do you like colorful shades of makeup, lipstick, eyeshadows, or neutral ones? That's hard. I like both, but I would probably say neutral ones are... Well, I don't know. Is gold considered neutral? And I use, like, browns and stuff. If I had to pick, I'd probably pick neutrals, but I really love playing with color. Which celebrity always has great makeup? That is hard. Well, I'm going to skip over that one and come back to it. If you could leave the house using just one makeup item, what would you use? Absolutely lip gloss. That's it. Absolutely it. Love my lip gloss. Could you ever leave the house without any makeup on? Yes, I do all the time. I, I do not wear makeup daily, so I actually did um, a one month no makeup challenge. So the entire month I didn't wear makeup to anything. So yep, I can go out without makeup. Do you think you look good even without any makeup on? I have to go back and forth because just some days like I just am like if I could just have a little under eye concealer and just like a pop of color and a little bit of mascara because I can look really tired like I look haggard but most days it doesn't really like I'm not like oh my gosh I'm gonna have to go out and I don't have my makeup on no it doesn't really bother me especially after doing the one month challenge I really like broke that bond of like wearing makeup really often but I, I would love to be able to do my makeup every day, like that would be super fun, but uh, I don't have the spoons for that. <laughs> if you don't know what spoons are, watch my video on spoon theory. In your opinion, what is the best makeup line? That is really hard. I would say, this is so conventional, but I honestly would say MAC, because I just love all their stuff. I think it's because like, I just get really excited when I'm in there. And I just get like this like I'm at home like I'm just at home and so I think I would pick Mac even though that's like such a generic like newbie thing I still really like Mac and it still gets me really excited and it reminds me so much of like college and going out and buying new brushes and it's kind of exhilarating I don't know if that sounds really crazy but we're gonna roll with crazy okay what do you think of makeup well, that's a broad question. I love makeup. I think makeup is an art. I think that you can have so much fun with it. I think it's something you can be super creative with. And um, I use it a lot of times to distract myself from my pain and being tired and my fibro. 
it shouldn't be taken as like a have to it should be like a fun experience it's like to play around with thank you so much for tagging me Lori uh, this was really really fun and a mess I hope you guys have a pain free stress free day I'm sending out X double O's bye I don't want any like huge pieces of like rocks on my face sweat it down so I don't know Vaseline is amazing you can't like replace it you can do anything with it it's like all those oils that everybody talks about now but Vaseline was the original way too harsh like whoa if you're tagged you have to do it I don't know you don't have to if you don't want to I feel really bad that I just did that